What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we start this video, let me show you guys something real quick. So the other day I was up uh, San Felipe, which is a road in San Jose, and uh, I found a lot of bullet casings. Check it out. I think it's like a, I think it's nine millimeter. What I'm planning on doing with this is probably cover it in epoxy resin and kind of turn it into like an ashtray. That might, that might be cool, I don't know. So today we are going to work on this sissy bar right here. Uh, let's get rid of this gas tank. So I went to Santa Cruz the other day. I wasn't sure if my bike was gonna make it. I made it to Santa Cruz and I had like half a gallon left. So I think Santa Cruz from San Jose is like 20 to 30 miles. But uh, anyways, we're going off topic. Today we are working on the sissy bar. So when I bought this sissy bar, I didn't read the description. It says short on it. I wanted the really tall one. I think the tall one goes up to maybe like up to here. So yeah, today we are gonna make our own sissy bar. So if you guys watched the last video, uh, the one that I just uploaded, I did mention that I wanted to make a sissy bar made out of chain. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm planning on making the new sissy bar at least, at least this tall. So let's do six feet of chain. Let's go to Home Depot. All right guys, just got back from Home Depot, but we got some bad news and some good news. Bad news is they only have zinc Good news is we got acid to strip off all of the zinc, so it will make it safe to weld. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Actually, what did I tell you guys earlier? I think I told you guys I wanted six feet, but I accidentally got five feet. It was only $10, so if I end up not liking it, I can uh, do it again, so. So this is what we're gonna need right here. Luckily, Luke has some laying around for some reason. Some uh, muriatic acid. So basically we're just gonna let the chain soak until we see, it's gonna start bubbling up. So once there's no more bubbles, um, we can pull the chain out. Oh fuck, oh shit. Oh that's crazy, this should have dissolved all the zinc. That was quick. Check it out guys, so all of the zinc has been stripped off. Hopefully I got all the acid out. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of zinc right here because there was a piece of tape. Um, it should be fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take out the old sissy bar. Well, let's cut the old sissy bar and get rid of it.
God damn it. We got sissy bars almost done. All we gotta do now is paint it, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like right now before we paint it. I kinda like the way it looks, but unfortunately if we leave it like this, it's gonna rust. So that's not good. My only one concern with this uh, sissy bar right now is it's kind of wobbly. And I don't really trust my welds. And if something happens, if this breaks and falls into my chain, that would be really bad. We did do a lot of testing. We I did test this a lot. Um, I mean, like, it's pretty sturdy. Like, it just, it just, it just, it just, it just worries me a little bit, you know? Because if that does get caught, it's going to be painful uh, let me show you guys real quick it's actually kind of funny since it's so tall it actually wobbles when the bike's running but yeah so we do have a can of black spray paint inside the warehouse uh, we're gonna hit this I do have to touch this up it started to rust we gotta sand this down and paint it again uh, I parked my bike in front of my house and the sprinkler went off and yeah but what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below i really like the chain it really adds character the welds don't look that great but you know i'm not a welder and i'm kind of happy with how it came out so i'm happy and it's nice and tall uh actually you know what we're not gonna paint it just yet i want to put something in the middle i need to I don't know, I think there's a couple garage sales around my house. I wanna get something and put it back here. You know, anything. Well, not not anything, but something cool, you know, like. Any, well, not like, something like a horseshoe, but not really a horseshoe, like something. I don't know, maybe I could find something somewhere. Maybe we can go to the flea market and find something there, so. We'll continue this video tomorrow. We'll stop by the flea market, see what we can find, and then finish this off. That's a big ass fucking toaster. Alright guys, we are back and I got bad news. A lot of bad news. So, I'll start off with the not so bad news. We were at the flea market, couldn't find anything, so... Um, I'm thinking about checking out the swap meets in Sacramento. If you guys don't know what swap meets are, basically it's this giant flea market for motorcycles. Like, you can find motorcycle parts, there's antiques, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff. So, next, if I do find a swap meet or like an event, I'll definitely bring you guys along. Because the last time I was there, I found a couple cool things for the shadow. So, I'll bring you guys along next time. Uh, now, on to the really bad news. So, over the weekend on Labor Day, it was September 5th, so it was on Monday. I was, going, I was heading down to Santa Cruz to hang out with some buddies. On the way back, it was dead stop traffic. I was on Highway 17. I was cruising about 10, 15 miles per hour, splitting traffic. And then, this car decided to cut in front of me. Since I was splitting lanes, and there was a car on my left, and there was a car on my right, it didn't really give me any room to maneuver, you know what I mean? So the only thing I could do was smack the rear end of the guy's uh, SUV. So yeah, so I got into my first accident pretty gnarly. It wasn't too bad. Like I said, I was going like 12 to 15 miles per hour. The only thing that got kind of messed up was like my wrist. I got like a couple bruises and scrapes here and there, but overall my body, like I'm, I'm fine. So I'm really grateful for that. And, uh, but with the Harley though, the Harley is kind of messed up. The wheels are kind of crooked. The forks are bent, handlebars are bent, brake lever is broken off. I would show you guys, but the bike's on the side. It's really dark and both of my hands are kind of messed up right now. So it's, the camera feels like it's 20 pounds right now. So I'll make another video uh, talking about my crash. I'll get into more details about it. But yeah, that's what happened guys. So uh, this video was supposed to be up like a long time ago, but I've been trying to edit the video, but my hands, they just freaking hurt. So I was just at the chiropractor. They said, you know, nothing, nothing's wrong with my arms, uh, but they do have to wait for the swelling to go down so that they can do some x-rays. So hopefully I didn't get any like hairline fractures or stuff like that, but I'm okay. Uh, yeah, such a bummer. My it's kind of just sad to see the Harley in that condition. I feel really bummed out, but at least I'm okay. You know, at least the bike is the bike's fixable. 
So, yeah. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys like the sissy bar as much as I do. Uh, if you guys do, let me know down in the comments below. I wish I went, I wish I went taller on the sissy bar, but the way it's like wiggling back and forth, I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations on how to prevent that from happening, please let me know down in the comments below because I do want to keep that sissy bar, but at the same time, if it's if it's sketch, I don't want to have another freaking crash, man, because it kind of it kind of hurts. But surprisingly, it didn't hurt too bad, but. That's because I was going like 12, 15 miles per hour. Imagine if I'm going 70 and I eat shit. Oof, no, man, I don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <clears throat>